but we came out okay. I mean, it's really hard to film in the snow, right? Because it's all white. So you got, it's really difficult in terms of cinematography to be filming out in a, in a, a white wasteland. Because you, you kind of want to create that depth of like, we're in the middle of nowhere, but in whiteness and gray skies, it's really hard to get, do that because everything kind of blends into one big white blob. Um, so that was a bit of a risk too, but I think it's pretty cool and it's all legit. So when you guys watch it, um, it's, there's no studio shots. It's like we were out there. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. That was a really cool part about it because it was just, it was all determination and ambition and it was all, you know, people wanted to do it because they wanted to do it. It wasn't because we we're getting paid tons of money. So I, I, I love that. That's cool. You know, like, I think that's, well, that's, you, a, know, you know, it's not just, um, it's not just a part of a video, is it? It's a memory. It's a memory for everyone. And I, I actually, you know, I think it is important to share that as a story with, you know, everybody else. Else, you know, yeah. You, you, yeah. no one would ever know, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and especially when you guys see the finished video and you see the, the, the actors that were in it and the people that were on the crew. I mean, you kind of, you see it a little bit differently when you hear a story like that because it wasn't easy. It wasn't like a Hollywood production where we had, well, it just... you know, a nice warm truck sitting there waiting for us to go in and get warm you know it was like really independent guerrilla filmmaking so it just uh, you know it, like anything in this world um it's always good to have a context and that's a pretty powerful context to have whilst watching a a video you know uh, i hope everyone that gets to see it gets to hear the story behind it i mean uh, just just sure, yeah. to get back to um when man and machine collide as far as i know i mean one thing that's been said a million times is like Richard's drums are done, Chuck's guitar's done. So the next part is to get like, I guess, Shannon in to do guitars and uh, uh, Tim, right. like Tim Amar to do the singing. So as far as last I heard, Tim is either doing the singing now or he's really close to getting started. Um, yeah, there was a kink, was there was a robbery or something. Wasn't sure, there? sure, wasn't sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, happened too. I don't, I don't know how they came out of that. I mean, I, the last I heard, that place was broken into, and then they were recouping their situation, and then they sure. wanted to get right back into it. So sure, sure. I don't think I don't think there's anything out there at the minute to do with what happened at uh, Morris Sound. I mean, um, Eric was right. very sort of um, <laughs> he didn't want to push the point because they'd been robbed, you know. But as far as I know, I heard that Tim was doing his vocals elsewhere. I mean, I'm not sure, but um, as far as I know, I'm pretty confident it's going to be say say it happens in like December. At least it happens this yeah. year and then uh, then mr doug can get excited about uh who who, know, who knows man maybe they could come together maybe the album and the video at the same time i mean that'd be cool yeah but, well i mean from my conversations with eric i mean i've i've obviously you know i probably exhausted my efforts in telling him how interested i am in doing another video for the new album <laughs> but it sounds like you know um he's definitely the type of person that would want to head down that road of continuing making really cool music videos for these this new album for sure and like he's that kind of guy so my confidence is that yeah we probably will do one for sure and i'm all over it i mean they have me i'm sold i, I want to be part of it um because it's just it just seems like the whole story of death and control denied and getting things done has is it's not easy but it's about people just making it happen like um just getting her done and that was the kind of thing that really drove me about breaking the broken was i don't know how the whole the whole timing thing worked out with chuck's illness but it sounded like this was something that he wanted to do um, he always wanted to do was this control denied thing and then they they did it and then he got kind of sick and he kind of pushed through to the end to get this next album yeah, 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 yeah. Get done and i can only imagine what that feels like you know like uh it's like having, for me, it'd be like, I have a movie I want to make and I really want to make it and I, and I have everything I need to do it and I'm sick and, you know, I just got to get through it and I just want to leave something like that behind. And I kind of put that into the Breaking the Broken video a bit, like this, you know, the trying to get something finished, trying to get to the end. And it's kind of funny because the story I just told you about the winter and filming it, it was like that, like trying to get through it it was hard it was cold it was it's not a fun process right? well but you're so and i think that kind of wraps up how i visualize the band and chuck is that it's just pushing through breaking the broken you're already broken <laughs> and you're just breaking it again and again and again and you're not going to give up you know and it's kind of funny because 
I said to my wife the other day, I said, I'm, I'm broken. I'm breaking. I'm already, <laughs> bre I'm living break broken because there's just so many things that you got to get through to get the video done, you know? So we had a good chuckle about that because well, I the guess thing is, um, if, you're really, if you're really into it, that's what you experience is what you're trying to say. Well, what's it what's incredible is uh your your single story that on its own could you know fascinate people about the tree and all this your story is just one of many in this like yeah. saga that's death chuck controlled in that's art. i mean yeah, exactly. it's incredible yeah i mean yeah, it's, it's just, just a uh, little thing yeah it's just and incredible eric's probably gone through too eric's probably had many stories of you know persevering through that you know like just getting through getting over the hump of whatever it is that's trying to push you back trying to hold you back and well um, i mean what's what like i say what is just astounding is that we're purely talking about a band and music you, you're not even taking like we're not even considering like people have you know their own lives families you've got your own family like uh let alone right. everyone seems to have like health problems you know and you have exactly. to you have to put all of that on top of what's already going on and uh when you do do that you know i, I think it's pretty um it's pretty unbelievable that anything can come out of it at all, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. And I, I mean, like, again, I, I don't, like I said, I don't want it to sound like our conversation is kind of cheesy because I don't mean it to be like that. But <laughs> I think that um, you're absolutely right. I think that there's that in this, in this time, in this, and when I say time, I mean like 2011, there's so much marketing and things that are out there, so much entertainment. But for me, I really like the stuff that's, really like a passion driven project and it, sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with money it's just like you're trying to create something you're trying to do something that you really want to do and um i think that was chuck and control denied in this new album that's what i'm really excited about is because it sounds like it's you want to get it done because it's art sitting in a you know in these tins or whatever that they, they want to express that they, they've always wanted to finish and just it's a passion project you know and i think passion projects are they stick out. And, well, uh, in a, you know, in a pretty big way. Um, I guess we're, we're lucky that Chuck managed to record all his parts so that this album can come out and that you can potentially make a video and, you know, right. there's, there's so yeah. much that could could have gone wrong so that, yeah. you know, you and me aren't talking now. and Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, I can't even imagine where he was. I mean, if he was, again, I don't know the timing, but if he was ill... Or sick at the time of his recording and I think Eric did tell me at one point that he could barely play the guitar his hands were so um, you know he had a hard time controlling some of his movements sure yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was really sick but can you imagine like he, he wanted to get this thing huh. recorded so bad uh -huh. that you're absolutely right he did it and now we're talking and we're making a video possibly you know um, so yeah it's just all about those moments throughout the band and people's lives that when you're sick or something's holding you back and what's driving you is not money and fame it's like art that's really cool i mean it, again i don't want it to sound cheesy but that's what drives me too is like you have a vision or you want to say something or you want someone to listen to something you just want to get it out you just want to try and make it happen and you'll do whatever it takes to get it done and when it's done um, hopefully people like it, but it's like a sense of accomplishment. It's, you know, they didn't break you, so to speak. <laughs> so this video was kind of like that. I mean, it was, uh, it's been a challenge. It still is. But looking back and talking to you, it all is worth it because here we're talking and it's exciting and we're taking something and we're putting it out there for everybody to watch. And well, it's... Uh, it's a good thing, you know. This this is going to lead me to my very last question, Doug, Mr. Doug okay. Cook. Um, yeah. Give us a date. Give us a date, Doug. <laughs> when can we see the video for Breaking the Broken? Well, I think Eric's all over that. I, I don't know if he's going to release the day, but I do know it's June. It Definitely June. Yeah. So how, however many days there are in June, let's say 30. I'm going to get I'm going to go with 30. So at some point <laughs> some point in june we're going to be seeing the video for it i hope so <laughs> yeah that's what that's what the assumption i'm under is it's uh, breaking the broken will be premiering in june next oh. month okay well so, um i would just like to say thank you for your time doug thank you for yeah, talking with me and I, uh, I, I, I totally appreciate you taking an interest in it man like um you know music videos these days um 
you know, they're they, when they first came out, music videos were super cool, and everybody, you know, like a lot of directors got their first start at music videos, you know. And nowadays, there, there's so many music videos out there that it's hard to get attention for them. So um, I really appreciate you, um, you know, taking this time to talk to me about this particular music video and a little bit about what makes me tick because that that's I, I appreciate that. And um, I hope that we can talk again, maybe about another video, or maybe <laughs> when the video is released, we can talk and we can talk more about the details of it, that kind of thing. So, well, you no know, problem. thank the, you. The, well, the pleasure is mine, Doug. I mean, um, you know, I'm going to guess that your time's a bit more valuable than uh, than mine is, ah, but. Uh, come on. But uh, is there any is there any sort of last words you'd like to you'd like to finish on, Doug? Um, let me think here. Um, hey, well, you know you... what? Actually, yeah, there is one thing. Um, I want to thank uh, Eric for sure. I mean, I know you had that long conversation with him, and you guys that was an awesome interview you did with him. But Eric definitely has done so many things that I probably don't even know about. Um, but in my little world, he's been the one guy that's kind of uh, directing the entire death and control denied uh, you know world Thing, yeah. keeping it in keeping it out there and he's given me a really big opportunity he's trusted me a lot and he's been really patient and understanding and uh, I hope to work with him again and again because he's such a cool guy and I just want to say thank you to Eric and I appreciate it um, for giving me that opportunity to make this video and I hope everybody really likes it because uh, that's weighing heavily on my mind right now is I just want it to go out there and everybody to be like, cool video, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave it with that. Okay, thank you. well, thank you very much, Doug.